Wuthering Graves just launched a couple hours ago. I haven't had a chance to play it yet, but I am not as hyped for this game as I would like to be. And before you punch me, here's why. Firstly, the community that I've seen around this game, especially on YouTube, has been unbearably cringe and has massively hindered my excitement for this game. Of course, every community has its cringe side, but still, it seems like people are unable to simply enjoy and be excited for this game without viewing it as the big bad Genshin killer and looking at Genshin as the enemy and whatnot. It seems like anytime someone says something even remotely less than glazing about this game, content creators feel the need to make a response video to it. Like, why? These same type of people complain about Genshin creators being too overtly positive about their game, yet it seems like you have to be entirely positive about Lutheran Graves or you are some type of bad person. I don't rock with this vibe at all. It reminds me of when Tower of Fantasy was new, and we all know what a joke that turned out to be. Like everybody else, I absolutely want to see this game succeed and push Hoyoverse to make better changes for Genshin Impact. That's a win for everybody. But when Wuthering Graves good, Genshin bad is a huge part of the community's identity, it's just cringe and pathetic. Can't we just enjoy Wuthering Graves for Wuthering Graves? Adding on to that, while the game has been hyped up as this Genshin for hardcore gamers or Genshin with actual in-game and whatnot, I don't really see what the game has going for it that's going to prevent it from running into the same long-term problems as Genshin. When Genshin Impact was new, everyone was having a great time and was blind to the long-term issues. But once most of us got done with all the story and exploration and whatnot, we realized that now all we really have to do is in the game is log in, do our dailies and resin, if the abyss has reset, do that, and then we're done. The daily loop only takes a few minutes and is not an engaging time for quote-unquote gamers. Wuthering Graves looks like it's going to have the exact same issue. We're all going to be having a blast for a month or so, then slowly realize we don't really have anything to do other than, other than mint picking after we clear the story and exploration. I hope that I am wrong about this, as an aspiring content creator, it is 100% within my best interests for this game to succeed and for me to make content on it, but I just don't see how the game is going to avoid having the exact same problems as Genshin. To me, that just seems to be the inevitable cycle for live service gacha games like this, and I don't see that changing any time this decade. But what do you think? Do you think Wuthering Graves is going to have the same long term issues as Genshin, or do you think I'm tripping? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks. Bye.